five years ago, we set out um, to kick back against the kind of top down approach to climate policy that we saw. So decarbonate is an, a network based on this idea of place based decarbonisation. It's not to say that top down climate policy isn't absolutely uh, important, but it's just um, not enough by itself. Um, there are so many diverse places, even listening to the discussions today and knowing what I do about uh, Cumbria and, and the lakes, um, even within that geography, so much diversity, but across the country, so many different uh, places. Um, some work by the Place-Based Climate Action Network, which is also um, based out of Leeds, some colleagues, um, have done a study looking at um, what the benefits of, of acting in a more place-specific way uh, would be. So they they assessed a range of policies from domestic heating to insulation and transport. They looked across a range of different areas. They found that acting in a place-based way was more effective. So you, you could cut more, more carbon. It's cheaper to deliver. And you also get um, many more uh, co-benefits uh, from doing that. However, I still would say that the the framing of the place-based uh, climate action work that was done was still quite top-downism. It was a case of uh, a set of national policies and deciding which ones to to apply in 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 which different places. It didn't really address the uh, democratic deficit that um, Becky was talking about earlier. It didn't provide it, that kind of thinking. Doesn't provide agency to communities and businesses. It's not about uh, ownership uh, or design. Um, so if we look at Cumbria, I would suggest that there's there's no one in the Department for Transport decarbonisation team, possibly not many people in the Department for Transport who have any idea how to decarbonise um, Cumbria, uh, the transport system, certainly in line with the, the kind of projections that they're imagining. Electrification is the number one strategy that they have um, across all the, the whole country, um, but they would struggle to, I think, develop a, a wider toolkit. And they, they recognise this is a problem, but I think electrification is is um, a, of, of what we have today, plus what is anticipated to kind of be growth in car ownership in the future is a dystopia for, uh, for, for the Lake District. Um, you know, the, the photos that have been shown throughout the day um, multiply car ownership by 1.3 or 1.4. What what do your places look like? How do they even work um, in, in that kind of future? If that's what we do, if we electrify, we become more individualized uh, and vehicles become bigger and bigger. So if you want a different future, I think if you want to lead in creating new ways of living, you have to make that. You have to own that and be the voice of that. Um, and of course, the challenge is then, how do you deliver that? As I think Becky's diagram earlier, I thought was quite amusing. Um, if it wasn't true, it would be amusing, uh, but it flagged just the, the challenges of getting this done through the delivery system that we have. But if you haven't got a vision, if you haven't got those experiments, if you haven't got that desire to deliver something different, then you haven't got anything to argue for and you will end up I think being the recipients of top-downism. So I'm totally on board with uh, what's going on in the discussions today. I've really enjoyed it so far. I'm looking forward to uh, where we go this afternoon. Thanks.